Nobody's gonna find this duck. Good morning, y'all. Good, Good morning. morning. Today we are nursing sunburns. <laughs> Ooh, big one. And we're preparing to enjoy our very last day on the ship, uh, which is another fun day at sea. We spent $5 early on in the cruise to get access to the chat plan because when you're on the ship, you don't have cellular service. <laughs> Um, so you use the ship's Wi-Fi and you can do chatting, uh, just kind of like instant messenger on your phone. And we all got together and we decided we're going to go do some trivia and then we're going to do a scavenger hunt and then get some brunch uh, a little bit later, then head to trivia. So here we go. Quick bite of breakfast time. And then we'll go full on brunch later. <laughs> brunch mode. Bridget, you're on the hunt for some cereal. I'm gonna go find me a burrito. What's up, guys? I'm doing well. Could I get a burrito? Yes, sir. Anything for you? Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. That's wrong. Yep. Anything for you? Then I will go with uh, ham, please. Ham? Okay. Yep. And then? Uh, then cheese. Cheese. Okay. And then? And then crema. Yep. Thank you, sir. Yep. And you have a with us. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we got half the questions right on trivia, uh, but we got to hang out with some of our favorite new friends on the cruise ship. Thank you, Chris and Ro and your family for hanging out with us on this cruise. It's been fun chilling with you guys. We are missing the little guy, although I think we got a lot of his face in the last <laughs> trivia. <laughs> Probably. It was a pleasure. Well, just getting back from trivia and getting our bingo cards for the $5,000 bingo. Because we're gonna win it. But now we're gonna go to head to Sea Day brunch. It's already almost noon, so we're really late this morning. <laughs> Too much sun yesterday for me, so yeah. yeah, just a little. She burned. Anyway, we're gonna go meet up with Tim and Bridget and get some Sea Day brunch. Bye. Headed to brunch with Jeff and Amanda right now. Our room was nice and tidy. Am I going this way? That was a noise. I'm not sure I like that noise. Well, I hope we're not getting on that one. <laughs> I'm about ready just to hoof it down five flights. I've seen Final Destination one too many times to know when something like that happens. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> don't go on it. It's a trap. And look at who we found. We are going to have brunch. Chicken wing, chicken wing. Hot dog and bologna. Chicken and macaroni. We had dolphin sightings when we were in the main dining room area, so we've rushed up to deck 10 and we're gonna try and see if we can't see some. So, uh, it's been about two minutes since we've seen them. I don't know if I'll get a shot, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Bye. Haha, -ha, shots. All right, no luck seeing the dolphins, but uh, as you can see, it's overcast today and uh, not a lot of sun so we're actually gonna go head inside and go try out the library bar um, they look it looks really cool just to kind of sit in there and hang out so we're gonna go give that a shot and play play some cards yep all right here be we fun.
I don't know if that's really the dance. Elevator. Elevator. Dance for the elevator. There we go. Got one coming behind us. Oh, oh, no whammy, no whammy. Hi, Miguel. Hello. Yo. I think we're going to go ahead and just wobble our way on down the stairs. Siona, Captain of the Please. When she enters the battlefield, I can look at the top seven cards in my library, reveal an aura card from among them, put it into my hand, and then put the rest at the bottom of my library in a random order. That's the first half of what she does. Just packing up. Yep, my hand is packing up. So the bottom half of her thing is whenever an aura becomes attached to a creature I control, I create a 1 1 human soldier creature token. <laughs> Things are heating up. In this ice cold room. So I think it's amazing. Cool. The boys like it because they were getting hot. Oh, I wish somebody would deliver me a milkshake. <laughs> You're already cold. I like, know. what do you need a milkshake for? Because of our Because of our combat. Who is the champion? The only thing I can win at is a card game. Not cash, like the rest of these eight holes. I'll tell you what, it was worth $500 in my mind. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Drink modes activated, now we're off to bingo. This had a lot of grenadine in it. It's supposed to be orange. Still tastes good. How was bingo, you guys? We lost. We lost. It's okay yeah. though. It was fun. So, three quarters of the wandering mittens won something on this cruise. And really, we're all winners because we're all together. Yeah, we're one big happy family. I'd I mean, be happier with $500 like the rest of us. <laughs> you know what? It's not the last day. It's the last day, but you still have a chance to win. Win at what? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gambling anymore. I don't know. Go to the arcade. We're gonna go win by having some more fun. Let's do that. By having another drink. Oh, look at you. Oh, that is adorable. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> so we came back to the room and we started smelling this weird exhaust smell and we decided that maybe it was time to do kind of a room review here of 8331 on uh, deck 8. We're in the aft area. We're literally at the end of the hallway um, in one of the corner interior rooms. We we're the absolute furthest to the end uh, that's interior. The we are sandwiched up against a utility closet though at the same time so there is not a room behind us but it's like a maintenance maintenance room. So I, I guess what we, we, we wanted to inform people of is probably three out of our five days, we come into the room and it smells like a weird exhaust smell, or how are you describing it? It smells like a gym bag 
<laughs> to me. Just kind of sour, musty, yeah, wet the, carpet type of smell to me. The first two days were that way, and then two days after that, it, it smelled it great. It smelled all. Now we're on our last sea day, and we've got this strange stench again, so maybe it's just got something to do when the ship's going full tilt. But uh, other things to, to talk about is... Um, Nigel. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, Nigel is Special guest pointless. here is Nigel. <laughs> A couple of things that... Um, were minor annoyances. Um, one of them is the way the room is set up. Uh, when you're walking past the bed to go to the bathroom, um, even in the, in the daytime, you know, and, and at night it's even worse. But the refrigerator uh, is at a weird edge, and you can stub your toe on that. I and would it's really politely painful. like to call it the toe killer. <laughs> Because I, I jammed my foot on it hard <laughs> on the first day. That's because I mean, we recognized it like immediately on the first night. That, okay, this is going to be dangerous yeah. <laughs> for our toes. Okay. I, I guess the, the next minor annoyance is the way the bathroom is laid out. Don't get me wrong, the shower is huge. The shower is amazing. This is the biggest shower we've had in a carnival room so far. It's a rectangle rather than the standard triangle shape that you get. Um, so there's plenty of room for me. Uh, so my, the, my issues with the shower is the, the water pressure is pretty terrible. Um, it needs most a new of the time. Head. He, he definitely needs a new shower head. It, it's been used for quite a while, it seems. Yeah. Um, and it can take five minutes in the morning for it to get warm. And I've never had an issue with a carnival shower um, getting warm ever. I'll let you in on a secret. Let whoever you're traveling with first take a shower and then it gets nice and warm quick for you the second go around. <laughs> That's one of my tricks. Tips and tricks right there with Bridget. Uh, we got two more minor annoyances with the bathroom. Um, the other one being the way that the tub sits. Um, it's it's tough for when you're, you're oh. sitting down to do your thing to, to get positioned properly because of this weird bar that your foot hits. Um, and then the last thing is our bathroom door is kind of like not on straight so you can't oh. shut it all the time yeah. um, and when the ship is rocking it likes to slam, slam back and forth because it, it can never shut itself when it does slam so uh, we had to make sure that it was either fully shut or we had to put a towel or something down to just kind of muffle the sound um, but other than that uh, this is our first time doing an interior we've always had balconies in the past I, I'm definitely going to be able to deal with the interior rooms on our next two cruises that we have booked later this year. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Um, you know, it's cheaper to, to do it interior, and if we want to get the views of the outdoors, we just go out on one of the you know, the big decks that are out there. There's, there's plenty of space to go and look at the water. It, it definitely works for us because we don't spend a whole lot of extra time in our room. We come back and forth, drop stuff off, pick it up. We did take a little bit longer nap one day, but the interior room was great for that because there is no windows. You don't know what time it is. You could wake up in the next century and be like, whoa, what happened? <laughs> I, I, I was worried about um, it being so dark without there being windows that, you know, we're gonna sleep all day or whatever, or I'm not gonna be able to find my way to the restroom when I wanna go without a nightlight. Um, and conveniently, the light from the hallway does come in under the door just enough to provide um, uh, enough light that you can navigate your room and not stub your toe if you're paying attention. Also, the thermostat. Um, is like kind of got a light to it instead of like the digital numbers and I relied on that if I ever had to get up out of bed I could that oh. I kind of was able to guide myself towards the <laughs> towards the bathroom easier because I was like there's the blue light <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right so we're, we're done with this let's yep. go bye all right, tonight we're going to skip the MDR for dinner just because it takes a little while longer to eat. Uh, although we all do love the MDR. We do. Shout out to Nigel. Nigel. The drink Nigel. master. Drink master. master. Or America's Most Wanted, not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, we stopped at the other great place, Guy's Burgers, uh, so that we can have something quick, uh, quick to eat so we can move on and uh, enjoy the rest of our evening. There's plans possibly for seeing the playlist production show tonight. Uh, it had something to do with rock and roll. Epic rock. Epic rock. Epic rock. Epic rock. <laughs> Let's go and do that. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Good enough. It's the next stop. These are going to be the best ones. He already had. knows. It looks good. Alright. Thank you much. Hey guys, we're 
the Epic Rock Show right now, uh, just waiting for it to start. Uh, we lined up and basically ran over a bunch of other people to get into in some good scenes. Uh, I'm not ashamed of anything we did. You gotta do what you gotta do. And look at our view. Yeah, we sure. had a great view of the show. No mittens required for this trivia question because we're in the tropics. That's right, guys. It's trivia time again. What is the lowest depth of water that the Carnival Sunshine can make it through a canal? Amanda and I had to run back up to the room. She accidentally spilled her lemon drop on me. 
on the way out of the uh, theater. But what did you guys think of the Epic Rock Show? It was epic. It was. That was the uh, the best playlist production so that good. I've seen on a carnival ship so far. It was really, it was really good. Definitely yeah. awesome. Yeah, I know Amanda and I are going to be staying up till a little after 11. Uh, just for the uh, second chance winning with the uh, scratch offs. See if we can win some more money. Yeah. You Woo! guys have to bed soon, or we're gonna probably scrounge around and you know maybe pick up another pizza one last time at the, the pizzeria here. Uh, it's open almost all day and all night. Uh, yeah. You know, but yeah, we're just gonna finish maxing out our cheers package for the evening, and then then we're gonna hit the hit the hay. Uh, but really, I. Getting kind of sad now. I mean, that, that's probably the last real big event that we're going to see on this cruise because uh, tomorrow morning we're going to be back in uh, South Carolina at Port Charleston and uh, then we're going to take our 14 hour drive back home. That's going to be <laughs> so, exciting. Yeah. I, I think it's time to, to just thank you guys. Hey, thanks for hanging out and, and watching the vlog series. Uh, we really appreciate everybody tuning in for this whole thing. So. Uh, Thanks. Uh, we're going to be doing this again very, very soon. And I hope you guys had a great time. I know we did. We had an excellent time. Can't Bye. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.